What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, my parts didn't come in for the camera to have it set up so I could do hands on. I apologize for this. I didn't have anything set up. So, I can't do the um, walkthrough that I wanted to do with you guys. But, don't worry, I'm going to make up for that. Um, I'm going to do a nice amount of stuff to the 05. And when I do that, um, I'll make sure everything's going to be hands on on that so you guys can see everything I'm doing to that. So for now, until I get stuff set up, because of my time and everything, I got to get this car done. So I'm going to uh, just give you the walk down the wall I went through and got done so far. So, got the uh, strut bar on her car done. All right. That's out the way. And I've been working on Hellboy. So, we got the cradle bushings done. I got the control arms done. On this side. I got the other side to do still. But, here's that. I also went, did the compression check, compression test, and the valve seals. Everything cleared out. That's all good. And we got the fuel tank in. There's the old one. I think it was fate that this had to happen. Um, this thing was crusty. And uh, there's the uh, sludge in there. There's that. So, uh, yeah, we got the new fill filter on, too. Got the seats buttoned up. Um, when you do a plastic tank install, you got to get a hose, filler neck hose, which is this guy right here. You got to get one off of old one because it's longer than the metal tank one. So make sure you know that. Um, yeah. So these control arms right here, and I was remember I was telling you I was waiting for the uh, um, tubular controller from ZZP, but a lot of the OGs on the uh, let me set this down real quick. A lot of the OGs run these uh, control arms, so. Grab me a set too. All right, so now they come with a um, rubber bushing on this end, but this that's polyurethane. So what I did was I grabbed these uh, Mobile Techs right here. I see the cool thing about these is when you do the little control arms, um, you uh, how would you say, you gotta set the car down and tighten it up you can't just tighten them up but with these you can tighten them up without setting the car down because they uh they swivel so no matter if you tighten them too much or not they they swivel so there's that so i gotta put these on but this is the new stuff um what's going on with that and uh got this side done it was really it was pretty easy to do locked it out but uh yeah so i'm going to uh get back to work i forgot to give you guys an update um tomorrow i had this thing running completely done um it's a couple little things i'm gonna do under here clean it up put them back together and put the bumper back on and then there'll be a start of video tomorrow so y'all stay tuned for that and uh i'll check you guys tomorrow
Ha, ha, ha.